Hello and welcome to this video about hooking up and testing of my Fujitsu M2261E hard disk drive. The M2261E is a 5 and a quarter inch full 8 magnetic hard disk drive produced by Fujitsu in the early 90s. With an unformatted capacity of 326 megabytes, 8 read write heads and a rotational speed of 3600 revolutions per second, the M2261E has an MTBF of 30,000 hours and a warranted component life of 5 years. This unit is huge, weights an impressive 3 kilograms and it's still running fine after 27 years. The M2261E connects to a PC via an ESDI interface. ESDI stands for Enhanced Small Device Interface and it was developed as an evolution of the Seagate ST506 interface. ESDI has been soon superseded by the much cheaper and reliable IDE interface. Check the links I provided below if you are curious about all this hard disk interface stuff. Now let's check all the parts needed to test this hard disk drive. We need the Fujitsu M2261E hard disk drive, an SDI interface. This one is a Western Digital WD1007A Winchester floppy controller designed to support two hard disk drives and two floppy disk drives using just one ISA 16-bit slot. Check the WD1007A documentation in the link provided in the description below. And cables. Now, how do we hook up the drive to the ESDI interface card? Well, we take the SDI interface, the hard disk drive, and we connect a 34-pin control cable to the Fujitsu hard disk drive. Cables and connectors are keyed, so there's no room for mistake here. And we connect it to the WD1007A J1 connector on the other side. Then we connect a 20-pin data cable to the hard disk on one side and connect it to J2 connector on the WD1007A ASDI interface on the other side. J3 connector on the WD1007A is used to optionally connect a second hard disk drive. For this test, we'll connect also a 3.5-inch floppy disk drive to J4 on the WD-17A SDI interface connector to boot MS-DOS 6.22. Now, install the WD-17A interface in a suitable PC mine is a Pentium P5, and connect the hard drive and floppy drive power cables. First thing to do after powering it all up is to change BIOS settings to inhibit any other hard disk and floppy drive controller to avoid hardware conflicts. Then we boot a DOS session from a bootable MS-DOS disk containing the debug utility. If the Western Digital Controller has a BIOS ROM installed, it's possible to invoke the BIOS utilities to set, format and check the Fujitsu drive. Now enter the bug and type G equal C800 column 5 followed by a carriage return. This will execute the ROM code and invoke the utility. Refer to the WD1007A documentation for the details. The fifth thing to do is to set the drive parameters. I chose the 63 sectors per track option, I confirmed and rebooted. I then invoked the BIOS utility again and this time I choose option number 2 to low level format the drive. My drive formatted OK and I rebooted to change BIOS settings in order to let it recognize the hard disk drive. Now, booting MS-DOS again to high level format drive and issuing a DIR command to confirm that the drive is working. 
Then a final scan disk command to have the drive fully checked. Everything tests ok. That's the end of my test. I hope you enjoyed it. And following is the sound of my Fujitsu M2261E powering up and shutting down. <laughs>